Oh, nothing from his plant, so I guess you're done. You're not done, but whatever. And yeah, I guess I gotta check, quickly check these plants because they might be colonized, so... I really should be uh, always checking to see if like, these plants are colonized now because, you know, if there's something going to pop out of them, it's not kind of good to know. False. False. So, we're probably good down here, at least. That's a shield. Alright, so it's basically a colonist plan over here. So, watch out for that one, basically, when I get around to it. Alright, then. Well, let's start harvesting then, shall we? Grab all the stuff right here. I'm still an item there, but you know, whatever. Essentially, far free times, and that's basically all I need to do for like these like, plants for the most part. So, boom, boom, boom. Grab this stuff. Grab that stuff. There's our solar ray. I don't really need it, but you know, whatever. It's fine. We found, like, you know, a solar ray. Nothing produced, oh well, it's fine. Let's hit these plants down here. Yes, yeah, so we'll be going to like these sectors like soon, but you know, harvesting is important. Got all the stuff here. There's a married energy converter. There's a laser turret mark one. There's a regular, like, Mimax shield. And even though I noticed some basically people down here, let's just attack this plant for a hell of it, I guess. And there we go, we are ourselves a human colony! With, like, a human scout base to pop out to say hi. Goodbye, scout. We'll take your stuff. You know, it's funny how much energy I basically wasted just like firing like my weapon here. I'm not mostly energy basically losing at this point, so it's coming from like you know firing my mind laser off. So it does take energy base to fire off your like laser bases and stuff. So it's really just going to show you don't want to like you know fire willy nilly constantly at stuff. So you will run out of energy basically is a thing. Let's get up here. We're just going to equip our um, EM here. And look at all that hydrogen oxygen we see collected there, so we have lots of space to work with now. You know, I should probably get a shield battery, but you know, these are viable in, in case I decide to like, you know, make myself like, you know... Well... Eh, maybe I'll get rid of it, who knows, we'll see. It doesn't actually weigh too much that stuff, but, I mean... It does, like, you know, sell for quite a bit as well, so... Where is it? It's right up here. Shield battery right there, so... You can get quite a bit of, like, you know, juice basically out of that, just, like, you know, boost myself up if I need to, I guess. So I can, like, I keep around for, like, that purpose, like, you know, the energy purpose, basically.
Here's the option. Let's just convert this. We picked up a spare soul race. So let's get rid of that. Um. Actually, you know what? Think about. It. Let's assemble stuff first. So maybe I'll do that, and we'll get like 16 power spaces to work with. Just a few power spaces to work with. That's like you know, fine for me, I think. There's some energy to work with. There we go. Alright, the next sector I'm basically going to go to. Alright, so here's basically Sector 7. Um, I know that Sector 7 should have some like you know interesting shift space around on it for sure, so... We'll look around here a little bit until I can see it. Hopefully. Maybe. So far I see like frigates and like, you know... Oh, there we go. Interesting ship. So, this guy usually spawns like in Sector 7. Right here. The Xylene. So this ship seems to have been assembled by hand for, by from what blah, blah. This ship seems to have been assembled by hand by, from a wide range of scrap. Whoever did this must have been crazy. It's got like it basically is like a jerk cruiser, but it's got like you know, um, 1.6 like speed, and like you know it's got like you know shields and stuff like that. Now it's like a, a glass canvas ship. But it basically has a very powerful weapon on it. So you have to watch out for that, but you know, whatever. And well, no, this is a Rolex, by the way. There's actually a specific ship I'm basically looking to basically find, but you know, I yet can basically see it, so... Oh well. Let's go to the other spot, spot here, then. Um, this is going to lead uh, down to a branch. This might be a branch, like, you know, of Nope as well, so let's go down here. XO King Nostro. This region of space is covered in strange spores. The XO has been infected and is hearing voices. So we're in the hive. Alright, well, we're not going to basically see like the alien faction I'm basically looking for, but, um, well, we're going to, uh, I guess we'll be dealing with the Jurg, I guess, so. Yay, Jurg! Why not? There's a hull island right there, so basically damage, you know, increase the damage to the hull. I'll probably want to pick this basically up for like, you know, fighting here because like, you know, Jurg. There's a fast torpedo launcher, so more torpedoes if I basically want to make use of my gas. There's a scout up there. A small power and fire, fire right there. Alright, well, interesting stuff basically happened around here, I guess, so... Let's start clearing this area out of here a little bit, I guess, so... Down here we go. Yeah, no, by the way, these guys, like, they move really fast, so... It's really hard to keep up with, like, you know, enemy scouts and stuff like that. Yeah, that's a bomber of sorts. Fire this stuff at him. So we'll get rid of that stuff. Is this the bomber? That's the bomber, so he's gonna basically bomb me. Let's go down here. And I just wanna basically fire off my like you know EMP of these guys all at once, so let's do that. I don't think we hit these guys, unfortunately, but whatever. Get rid of those things. And there we go. 
a few kills basically to start off this like you know adventure. Hey, here's our fishing remote that heck uh, mark free right there. You know, I'm tempted to show it off just a little bit, the like, you know, remote data hack, so... We're gonna mount that right there so I can show it off a little bit. I think. It's not like I'm gonna be using the EM in here at all, so... Think about, let's actually convert that right now. We use this place like a good amount of time, but you know, let's just get rid of it, I think. We don't really need it, so... Let's get rid of it. I should probably make sure I have this stuff basically online right now for this stuff, but whatever. That'll let me move a little faster, so we'll put that on. Targeting is important, so we'll put that on. That will be sold, the weapon bypass is basically like, you know, ruins weapon damage, and I'm not really going for that on this, like, you know, ship here. So let's get rid of this right here, get rid of one of the targeting computers, I think. Actually, let's get to up to, you know, an even 20 square parts there, so why not? We'll do that. A little bit of energy to do stuff with, so hooray. More jerk over here, apparently. Let's go kill him. So yeah, let's just show off basically the dad hack here. Let's just like go after this like bomb here a little bit. I'm not quite close enough to hit him though, so let's go here. Alright, well whatever, we'll wait till like the next guy comes up, so. Boom. The Concourse C? What the heck is a Concourse C? Uh, that must be just a part of my ship here. It's within here, I guess, so whatever. There goes that guy. Let's kill this guy, too. Long range real gun. Don't really care about that, but why we picked it up? Pick that up. Okay, let's try this one. So, I know they like remote death hack. Oh, it's basically like a cross ship. So, never mind. Let's do like that then. Kill them both. Let's try and get in front of these guys then. So, go up here. Uh, sure, let's do this. Hit this guy, and we'll go like that. So, yeah, basically, you can have an unhandled exception based on stuff, so you can, like, you know, shut them down. So, for example, I can do a complete shutdown. I can, like, shut down, like, their engines, their utilities, converters, their scanners, their shields, their weapons. So, yeah, basically, I stopped this guy's movement, basically, here, so he can't actually move around that right now. Not that it really matters, I think I, I, you know, EMP'd him down, so it doesn't really matter, but whatever, you know. We basically kill this guy's engine, so he can't move around now, this guy. Essentially, like, you know, your, like, uh, you know, data hacks are, like, a very cheap, like, way of, like, doing stuff, so, they're cool. I don't think I'll be using it myself, but, you know, basically that's what it's used for. Basically, you have a high chance, basically, of, like, you know, sailing people of, like, you know, your, your ship. And, basically, if you, like, disable them, they, like, can't do stuff very easily, so, it's cool. I think I'll use this finger a little bit because, like, you know, an awesome weapon. So, not that basically on my die hack, perhaps. Let's 
And let's just go about converting like some of the stuff here a little bit, so... That, 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 that. Oh, I got shield bypass with that. All that can basically go, just can go. With 16 turns, basically get like, you know, 10,000 energy. I'm good with that. Are right, you're done? Or with him? You know, it's funny, I've barely gone away from, like, you know, the, um, the wormhole here, but, you know, we're just basically just slowly, like, you know, mopping up everything that's around me here, so, whatever. There we go, perfect, we found these guys to hit. Um, you know, I could fire this at them, but, you know, a couple of will do it, it's fine, so, boom. Boom. Come on, hit him already. This is one of the bad things about being inaccurate by the way, you're like, you know, missing like constantly, but whatever. There we go, another Dirk Matter um, energy converter. He also dropped a wide beam laser turret here, so this basically is a weapon that has like, you know, wide like, you know, damage range. Does got like, you know, less range as a, as a result. Essentially it's like, you know, um, this is like wide, wide beam range is like a random like, you know, attack thing that like, you know, it fires like, you know, massive like, you know, you know, range, but it's like, you know, very um, likely to hit. So, very like accurate weapon I guess, we'll say that like wide beam basically is. Uh, let's see what this basically does for me. Alright, efficient torpedo launcher. Well, they're efficient, but I don't need efficiency on a torpedo launcher, so that's no good to me. Um, long range, like, laser turret, those are basically, like, you know, four range, but they basically have, like, you know, less chance to hit and, like, you know, slower speed. So, this is a crappy, like, jerk thing here, so... We'll put back on my military convert here and, like, sell the, like, you know, one of my got. So, just convert, convert, convert. I know the primary reason for coming to Jerk Space is to get myself a good, like, Jerk Mar Converse, so... That's what we're really here for, is just to find a good Converter. Alright, they're over here, so let's go after these guys. Basically, I'm hunting ships because I'm actually hunting ships for a purpose, so... There we go, nice shot there. One more guy to go down. More stuff to sell, I guess, so... Convert, convert, convert. Do, 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 do. Just going to make a few more torpedoes. Let's hit these guys over here. Come on, catch up them before we get away. There we go. Good. And... Oh, oh, oh. Well, we're taking hits here, but whatever. We've got a weapon! Boom! Uh, sure, fire at this. Fire again. There goes those guys, next guy's dead. We got the scout basically coming after me now, but well, that's fine. Fire this here, fire it there. Whoops. And there's a cruiser over there, I guess. So we can go after him soon. 
More crap I don't need basically from a lot of these guys, but oh well. Just like scavenge all that stuff there. Grab this here. And perfect, let's fire like crazy at this guy, so... Fire! 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 They all see me now, but whatever. All dead. We'll take their stuff. We'll take this. You know, I'm trying to go after those guys, but you know, do you want any opposite directions? Let's go grab this. Do 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 do. Let's get rid of all this stuff. It's all energy, basically, the stuff I'm picking up at the moment. But whatever, it's fine. It's a very anti energy converter over there, basically. You know, I'm trying to go like the next sector here, just so like, you know, just show off like you know, there's like more like you know, just like high, basically keep going to it. So why not? More jerk ships. Oh no, by the way, when you get to like the Hive 2, you don't find any more humans basically, so it's all jerk here. There's a rare like overload laser one turret. Two the anal anal analyzer right there. I'll go to that sector soon, but you know, we're just gonna hang around here for a little bit more, I think, so. Let's go to this planet up here, let's see what's happening over here, I think. And, you know, at this point, because there's like so little, like, you know, to fight me, let's just put on, like, you know, all the stuff right here, I guess, at this point, so. Mount. Mount. You probably have some of these targeting computers right here, but whatever, it's fine. So, we'll get rid of one of these right here. We only have, like, you know, two of them right now, so it's like, you know, get rid of one, so, you know, might as well. Now, let's put on the, um, compact mine laser turret right there. And yes, you know what's going to happen right now. Farming! And yeah, I might have a lot of energy and a lot of stuff because of the salvage, but you know, it is a type of game, it's, um, game here where, like, you know, the farther like, you go in, the more, like, you know, um, energy basically you need to do other stuff, so. It will be important later on. They have lots of energy, so to speak. Alright, well, these guys are over here now, so interesting. I'm getting like nothing from this plant here, by the way, so... Grab what I can. Now let's hunt these guys down. Fire! There goes their bomber. And there goes their scout. Alright, the Tapu Mark um, Launcher Mark 2 versus the, um, the Overload Mark 1. So, I'll note this basically has an energy cost of like 250. It's got like a speed of like 0 0.9 and like, you know, does like, you know, 12 to like 20 damage. If I put this on, it'll basically have 13 
to not 19 damage, so a little bit like you know less damage, I guess, but you know have like more range, a little more energy cost, but like you know faster speed maybe. Well, less speed, but whatever. I know basically the nice thing about this, like you know um, Mark II to pre launch that they actually have like better range, so I can actually fire from farther away if I want to. So it's actually like really worth it to get these like, Mark II's I guess to put them on. So why not let make use of it right now? Put that all on right now, I think. I was using like the like the level one by the way, because it's like you know a very cheap weapon to make use of, but you know. There's a scout up there apparently, but whatever. I still want to jerk anti by the way, or um cover by the way, so. I'm still gonna hunt these guys down over here, so to speak. I forgot I actually have a better range now, so I didn't have to get this close to fire at him, but whatever. There we go, kill this guys. Drop drops from them, but a lot happens. So, one scout, two jerk ships, and that's it. We basically wiped the board, basically everything else, so hooray. We'll get over here and basically, like, you know, wipe this planet then. A new baby girl is born today, hooray! Skip, fire, skip. And you know what, let's just go hit these guys before they get like too far up, so... Hello? Okay, we got the scout's attention, so that's fine. Fire it right there. Blow them up. I did that wrong by the way, but well, right, we basically you know hit this guy hard. And of course, broken torpedo launcher, because I love broken stuff. I'm not sure really like effects by like you know recycling here of it, but whatever. Broken! Alright, so it's just a scout now at this point running around. Somewhere. Right there. Whee! Down here we go! Let's go grab this over here. Perfect, he's coming back, so let's go hit him. And there we go, we wiped the board of this, like, you know, a lot of stuff here. There's a compactor, so hooray. Yes, hooray! You know, I sort of feel like, you know, there should be an option to, like, you know, just mine all the plants of like, all the goodies, basically, after a while. If, like, you clear, like, the board of, like, you know, everything that's in here. However. We're just gonna mercilessly just, you know, Go to the plants and like harvest all the all we can from. All right, very like you know weak plant right there, but it's fine. Let's grab this. You know what? We're gonna like you know run into like you know a colonist plant here. There should be a colonist like jerk plant in this sector because like it's a like you know high like you know sector. 
We've yet to run into it, but it is going to be here basically. At some point. Once more, my alarm goes, so we'll be concluding this, like, you know, episode very soon, but whatever. We're just gonna clear out, like, the rest of Hive 1, I think, and then, like, you know, call it here, so. Grab all the stuff I can. Let's go here, grab all the stuff. Watch this plant be the one that's like constant over here, and then it's gonna hit because you know why not? Kane's condition is getting worse. All right, so I guess you want to you don't want to screw around here too much because basically, like, you know, it gets worse as you go along. But you know, whatever. I know how to basically like, deal with this situation, so it's not bad, but so, you know, whatever. Right, let's get rid of this stuff here. We'll get rid of some of this stuff right here. Nothing there. I'll probably skip the next sector for harvesting because basically I have to get to like, you know, where I'm going, but whatever. First sector is going to harvest it basically completely, so... Grab all the stuff and go. Not this here. I'll mount this stuff here as well. And when I basically come back, we'll basically be like, you know, going to like the next sector here. Actually, what's my like, you know, torpedoes stock like? Alright, I need a few more torpedoes basically to keep going, so I'm just gonna do that right now. And also see here. I'm not probably need to get down to like this part here at this point, so You know what? Let's just sort of skip this part here. Do -do -do -do. You know, I feel like I'm playing Doctor Rapist for those who uh ever play StarCraft, like you know, use map settings. Then this map uh or basically is all about like you know dodging like you know you know things. Obviously, like, you know, the name is, like, very, like, you know, a night type of game, but whatever. Anyways, we want to basically get over here to, like, you know, get to, like, the next area, so... Basically, like, you know, show off what we basically have to do. In High Free, there's basically a special ship that you have to basically kill to, like, you know, help your, like, guy out. He's basically he's right there. The Dirt Queen! There's always only one queen for a local quadrant. She is the t toughest, meanest SOP the side of the galaxy. Max all 200, basically she like, you know, um, she's deadly, so to speak, so, yeah. There's a fast minigun right there, by the way. I'm not probably I might be able to knock her out with like my EMP, and if I do, then it'll be like an awesome battle, but you know. That'll be for like, you know, next episode, I think. Oh yeah, by the way, there's also battleships in this sector, so. Yay, battleships! They're around. Lots and lots of like, you know, jerk ships basically in this one. Alright, well, as I basically said, alarm basically happened, so I have to basically, you know, book it, so. We're gonna save her here. And I will see you guys next time, so basically keep going around. So for now, take care. Alright, so. When I left off here, we basically made it up to Jurg uh, Queen, so to speak.
Now, thinking about it... Whoop! Didn't mean to move right there, but whatever. I'll note that the Jerk Queen is basically like, you know... Um, it's got a lot of hull basically, and it's got a speed of like 1.12 here. And it's also got like, you know, weapon mounts of like 3 and stuff like that. I'm actually more of like, I basically have like the power to do this guy on right now, so... One thing about doing... Go my inventory here. Right now, basically, my ship here is like, you know... It's basically the same speed as like the Jerk Queen. And I wonder if I, if I might be able to improve if I basically build like an air twin bolt engine and basically over like the solar array. And maybe I want to get like an air torpedo launcher for like, you know, battling her out. So let's just see here. This is where it's intending to have like, you know, spare parts basically on hand to do stuff like this, so. Warcraft 1 twin bolt engine right here. I'm just going to see what I basically get from this right here, so... Nope, we don't want that, so... We're basically going to, like, you know, kit out our ship here to, like, you know, battle the, the like, um, Jer Queen. <clears throat> and one thing is that we're going to basically have, like, you know, a, you know, a few more basic Ds, basically, to, like, you know, take her on. I was thinking about possibly, like, you know, taking, like, the, like, you know, the EMP, basically, the fire, but things that, like, it, it cools down too slow. So we're just going to put these basic arm right here. I wasn't intending to basically, like, you know, go with, like, triple, like, you know, torpedo launches like I did in, like, one of my previous runs, because that's basically what I did in my previous run. Basically, we have, like, you know, just a bunch of these basically, like, you know, take out the, you know, the Jerk Queen, but whatever. These basically hit very hard, so it's likely we're, like, you know, melt her down before she has a chance to do anything, so... I got the torpedoes actually before we go in. I've only got 40. Let's just build a few more of those. And you can see that my energy is going down like crazy right here, but whatever. This is where it's good that I basically have like you know, lots of uranium basically like, you know, throw into like the, the cooler so to speak, so. There we go. Energy. I wasn't paying attention, so you know, we're gonna attack really crazy. And we just died! See, I really wish there's like a lot of like, you know, emergency things in here to like, you know, protect, protect you from like, you know, it's like this, but oh well. Unfortunately, I just died there because, like, you know, made a mistake. And I know, by the way, that's like primarily how I usually die in this game, by the way. It's like, you know, I'm just like sitting there doing nothing and then like, you know, I decided to all this craft bunch of stuff and then like, you know, stuff will basically come up and attack me while I'm basically crafting. Or like, you know, I'm like, you know, uh, doing something else in max, mass, mass patches like that. Oh, it's probably, it's, you know, it's my fault. I know that can basically happen, so, you know. That's basically the first run. Alright, well. You know, that's actually probably good enough basically to show off like what Solar World is basically all about. Um, basically the idea of like this game in here is that like you're just trying to get to like the end of like the, you know, I know I've actually beaten this game already. And basically how you beat this game is you just get to like the, you know, the end of like the you know, 12th sector. Where you basically pick up with the Gamera Vianor, you just come back. You can go like into the branch to get like a better score, but um, you don't really need to. And for the most part, you know what? I hope you guys basically enjoy it and take care.